It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to shows and read reviews online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Kevin Carr. And this is It's Movie Time. It is Movie Time. And is it time for a political satire? You know, I was thinking, <laughs> we haven't had one of these in a while. It's been about four years. I think the last big political satire was Our Brand is Crisis, which was four years ago. Oh, my God. Well, who better mm. to write and direct one than John Stewart? John Stewart, the who... former Helmer of... The Daily Show for mm -hmm. probably two decades, even. He was very popular, really made a name for himself outside of it, just a comedian. Yeah. And uh, his his debut directorial was uh, Rosewater, oh, yeah. which it, it wasn't political, but it was topical. It was about a, a guy who was imprisoned yeah. in Iran because he made a joke about the Daily Show. They, they, they made jokes about him on The Daily Show, and they thought he was a real spy, which he, he wasn't. Uh, but that one was cut from a very different cloth than this. Yeah. So, this one is called Irresistible. Yes. I'm not going to ask you why it's called Irresistible, because okay. I can't quite figure it out. It's an odd name. Let's <laughs> just start there. It's, <laughs> I think it's Irresistible because the whole point of the story is there's this guy played by Chris Cooper, who's this average uh, red state American who kind of talks a big game of uh, unity that, that, that like would almost be more in line with Bernie Sanders. And that makes him so irresistible uh, of a candidate that the Democratic National Committee sends Steve Carell to launch a campaign for this guy to be mayor. I mean, it's not even a, it's not a national election. It's just no, mayor. Okay. But they could sniff uh, his authentic Potential. Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Chris Cooper is terrific. I'll tell you, one of the limitations of the film is that I don't see enough of Chris Cooper in this. Yeah, they could have <laughs> done a lot more with him. Uh, and Rose Byrne, of course, comes in as the Republican strategist to uh, you know, to blow everything up. <laughs> She's the Kellyanne Conway of the, of the of this. No, well, let's yes. not be mean. <laughs> but but anyway, she comes in and the dollars come in. Yes, and that's the whole point. It, it's it's this tiny little midwestern town that is overrun by federal dollars and PAC dollars, and how it changes and affects the citizens and the people involved. It's. Um, that, that's the basic gist of the story. And, and there are funny parts to it. Like any of these things, uh, the, the funniest parts, I, what's, it's, it's uneven. Yes, it is. I think it's really it's uneven. Point. It's a good point. There are times where you're like, this could go absurdly funny. <laughs> like if you remember the movie, I think it was called Swing Vote, <laughs> where Kevin Costner was trying to get the, the somebody was, he was the one vote that's going to decide the election, and the Republican and Democrat are fighting for it. And you got the Republican uh, doing a, 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 a overblown pro-choice ad, and 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 the 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 Democrat, it's, it's it's just absurd stuff. And they had so many opportunities, and at times do go absurd. Yeah, especially with Rose Byrne when they throw her in there, she's absurd. Yes, she is, and I think she actually lightens the film up mm -hmm. a bit. I just don't think it's as what as humorous as I had hoped and expected. Partly because Carell underplays. His role, yeah, okay, um, and and in fact, we just never get inside of Carell much. Yeah, well, I mean, I think he's he's so for so many years he played Michael Scott from The Office. Even in the movies he did, he was Michael Scott, a version of that, this sort of bumbling sweet guy. And the character in this, I, you needed to have a little bit more teeth to him. You needed to have some more guts and grits inside of him. To 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 really make him pop, because ultimately, and this is part of the problem with it being unbalanced, is trying to find who, who who's the main character. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. is is it Carell? Is he the is he the the Pres protagonist? Presumably, or or is it is it Chris Cooper? Is it Chris Cooper's daughter played by Mackenzie Davis? Is it is it Rose Burns? I mean, you're pretty not. It's pretty much not Rose Burns. But you don't know whose movie it is. Yeah, and, right. And they struggle. And, and 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 it could have been the town itself. Yeah, we have so many preconceived notions about the Midwest. Yes, uh, that it, it was it's a chance to satirize and to illuminate. And I don't think they picked up on that. I, 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 but, yeah, there's 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 that there's that veneer of it. Yes, because you certainly see the condescension on both the Republican and Democrat side. The 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 Beltway, the inside the Beltway people, how yes. they look yes. at you know people who have you know. Cows in their backyard, you know that kind of thing. Yes. They they look down on that, 
but you never really see. It, it, it just sort of exists in the background. It, oh, it, it, it does have. It, it just has a real focus issue. And I, and I, it's, it's, the town is unfinished as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And they, they even throw in a bit of a romance between Carell and I don't, yeah, the I, Colonel's daughter. I'm not sure where the yeah. It, 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 it again. It all seemed. It seemed like this this really needed a workshop more. It's sort of like it's like a, you ever see one of those skits on Saturday Night Live where it's like the last one and you're like you know this would have been funny if they had another week to work on it. Yeah. And and I feel and, and that's I feel so bad because um, it, it's it's very different than Rosewater. It's a very different thing for sure. John Stewart to do, but it just it it didn't land. It seems to me he was he, his uh, his gloves were on. That is that he was really muting himself he was he was somehow taking his previous ascendancy into the top satirical dog of mm -hmm. news and somehow it, it's easy to say he lost it over these years but i don't think he brought any energy to this uh, yeah it, well i mean I, he he has he has a very specific point he is yeah. he's a very specific point he's trying to make with this movie and in making that point i think he put up blinders on how to actually make that point. Yes, and may have tried way too much. Yeah. And not developed anything. But what, without, there is a nice twist. I thought the twist was okay in the end of the film. I thought I thought it was instructive. Yeah. All right, which is I, I what think, he wanted like said, it to be. He, he's making a point. Right, right. Uh, but what, beyond that twist, what do we learn about the political process that we're going to be involved in now till November? I mean, what does John Stewart do for us about that process? I mean, obviously, it, 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 if there's any if there's any real takeaway, uh, a local election is very different than a national election. Yes, that that's certainly a big thing, and you can't treat and, and the second you start treating a local election like a national election, it nationalizes it, and you know it's all out the window. Yes. I mean, if, if that were the message you could take home from it, outside of the, the, the very specific point he's making. And I think that, uh, you know, certainly he seemed to me to be at the forefront of exposing fake news, or at least coming to terms with fake news. No? Yes? Yeah. I, didn't get, I didn't get much of it. I, I mean, not in this. In his career. Yeah, he, well, his career, the thing with his career, if you look at his career, he, <clears throat> fake news has been such a... Uh, <sighs> <laughs> it, it has been corrupted to just mean stuff that somebody doesn't like, <laughs> which is not fake news. Fake news are actual fake news stories, <laughs> things that are made up. You know, if you read something from The Onion, that's fake news. But on The Onion, you know The Onion's fake news. <laughs> so, so fake news is is it, it's it's such a corrupted term now. It, it, yeah. it, I don't I don't think and I don't think he's trying to address that. Okay, he he does. They do throw in some things toward the end of the film. I think you can pull that out. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, and and I think that what I what I one of the, my takeaways from this is mm. you got to be very careful about what's being said in the campaign, local or national. Yeah. You just and there are people who look like they're honest and straightforward who are not being so, mm -hmm. and that comes to play in this film yeah. without revealing too much. There are there's dishonesty all the way around. Oh yeah. Uh, so it kind of puts me on guard uh, in a good way. The other way is that it doesn't give me a whole lot of laughs. Yeah, it was. It was. There. There are funny moments. Yes, there. I mean, are. I mean, sure, absolutely. And like I said, I think most of them are the hands of Rosemary. <laughs> yes, because she's really great. And the cow scene. Well, yeah. <laughs> Anytime you can get a cow, wedge that into a scene somewhere. Well, yeah. Kevin Carr, the film is irresistible. Yes, that right. is what it's called. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of this film. Uh, what grade do you award it? Oh heavens! I I gotta <laughs> say a C. I mean, it, it hasn't. It, it it's an effort. It, there's an effort made, but um, yeah, no cigar. <laughs> I, I we're gonna look as if we collude and we don't. But I, and I have in my mind a firm C yeah. as well. All right, it's one of the big films coming out that came out last week. Yeah, it's uh, out there. Yeah, it's out there. So if you want a little bit of politics and to renew your relationship with John Stewart, you could do worse. Yeah. It's not a total waste of time.